Three and nine means it's time to tell you guys a story, so listen up, fellas. I played sousaphone in high school, and sometimes I brought it home to practice. Now, my mother called it a tuba, like a lot of people do. I had to tell her it's a sousaphone, and I explained the difference. See, the sousaphone, it rests on your shoulder. But my mama didn't care. She said, you better feed it and take care of it yourself, because I ain't got time to. Now, one day, the neighborhood bully, we had a bully named Stacy. Stacy and his boys saw me coming home with the sousaphone. Stacy got in my face and said, give me your tuba, man. And I said, it's not a tuba, it's a sousaphone. Now, I knew Stacy was going to punch me, so I stepped back and I blew a beef fat really loud in his face. Brrr, knocked him out. The other dudes, they ran. And then old Miss Lockhart, God bless her soul, old Miss Lockhart came out on the porch, she said, you got rid of the bullies. Thanks to my boy. And I said, it's a sousaphone, lady. Now, look, I know people like Dave Logan and all you guys are saying this story doesn't have anything to do with football. I know. I'm just distracting you from the fact that the Broncos still are mathematically alive to win the AFC West despite their eight game losing streak. <laughs> and I'm telling you this story as a reminder to the Broncos that if they get a lead over the Jets today, it's not to be treated like a sousaphone. In other words, don't blow it. <laughs> How about we give the sousaphone to uh, a keep? Maybe the fines will be a little bit less. Well, if it's a gold it. chain around it, I'm sure they'll take it. <laughs> that was the best one. That was good. That was you good. like that one? It's probably going to, that's a much better story than what I'm probably going to write after this game today. Oh. <laughs> Sousaphone. Very good. Not that I'm making a prediction.